Hey, hello guys. Uh, it's the 29th of uh, March 2023. You are welcome once again to my channel. You are welcome to Cartridge Solution Place. Once again, my name is still Emino Dutola Yisa Abiodo DTM. We are welcome on this great, great channel. Yeah, today is a very hectic day. Today we have uh, woke up around 2 a.m. because we are supplying, I'm personally supplying a farm at Ibadan. Ibadan, precisely at uh, after Apata, Omea Dio area of Apata. That is where I'm supplying these seeds to in Ibadan. And definitely, I'll be going myself because uh, uh, I'm not presently going for the fish alone. I'm going for many other activities in the farm. Uh, and uh, we are taking all in lot of seedlings. It's, this is lot of seedlings. This is not 10,000. This is not 20,000 pieces. We are taking it lot and lot and lot of seedlings today. So I'll be going personally myself in order to do what? In order to check uh, the farm, in order uh, to check the facilities, in order to advise on the way forward, in order to know the area, in order to check the market space of the area, in order to check uh, the accessibility of the farm, in order to check uh, how remotable the farm will be, based on the topic I'll be tagging for today, which I tagged uh, bidding hub monetization for your farm. So with this, this will be, this what prompted me in uh, giving this title for today because the title may help one or two people, uh, some of the prospective farmer, if you are uh, really going into the farm, the fish business for the first time, or you have been in the business and you thought uh, doing it alone is still the best, or you are still following just one trend in doing it without upgrading. So this uh, topic will help one or two people. And I bet you these are one of the uh, practices I've normally been involved in, and these are practices that have been helping me, that have been helping my business a lot, because I told you guys I'm into business, I'm not a farmer but i'm an agropreneur i'm into business i'm into money making so that is why i would like to talk about how to monetize your fish farm at this great uh, time so as you are watching from the background i told you earlier that today is the 29th of uh, march 2023 and today we are taking a lot and a lot, lot of seedlings uh, to uh, Akwata in Ibadan. We are taking around uh, 30,000 pieces just to start up the farm. So that's where we are going in today. And we are taking a lot of cakes. Uh, the, pro the process is so ethics uh, because uh, of what we have done previous day because before we move in our fishes out for distance, we make sure that we do the counting. We make sure that we allow the fishes to rest we make sure that we starve the fishes all this process have been in place in order not to stress the fishes depending on the uh, area they are going so we make sure that we do this in order to prevent them in or in order to train them down for the upcoming journey so all this have been done and um, we need to move very early because of one the presently the sun in in the present time is very very harsh so we need to move very early so that we can get to the destination in the morning so getting to the destination in the morning we're using that as an opportunity because of the destination we don't know what we'll meet at the destination we don't know when we will uh, pour the fishes into the pond so this automatically will allow us to go early and see things ourselves so from what you are seeing on the background we are doing the loading and after the loading uh, we'll be doing the packaging and after the packaging we'll be doing the um, uh, the um, that means we'll be loading it inside the bus so loading it after loading it inside the bus we put our preventive medications as we all know we have lot of preventive medications depending on the size of fishes you are taking to destination and by uh, the distance of the destinations so we we have lot of uh, preventive medications for this what does this preventive medication stands for 
It stands for one like an anti-stress for them, so that when they get when they get to their destination, they will still be looking very active. They will still be very very agile. You can feed immediately. I do that many times, and nothing happened. And depending on the handling, so we make sure that we do all this in order to give a better and a perfect uh, uh, seedlings. Uh, uh, wearing for the farm as we all know that these are the base of every successful farm and we in country solution please make sure that we go in tune with what can give you success in your farm so today we will be going to a on this morning and as you are watching from the background you'll be seeing all these activities in place yes you'll be seeing these activities in place so we make sure that we put all the activities on background so that you guys can see and for those of you who are in that axis you are in in Badon, you needed our seedlings and again uh, the video another video will come up tomorrow after this because we are supplying one of our great sister to in Badon. it's just a backyard farm and we are just supplying some uh, little pieces of seedlings to in Badon. so we are making uh, that supplies to to a bad on the next uh, the next you'll see that video uh, after this video so and in here in the bad on two what we do is that the feed that the fishes we hit for a month we are taking it alongside yeah we are taking it alongside so the feed too we arrive the same time we arrive in a bad on. so we now handle this to the management and we start what we call our mentorship program wow the mentorship program will start online that means we try to look at how they are giving the fishes how the fishes is eating how they are man managing the fishes uh, the weight of the fishes where required uh, the water level of the fishes uh, the flow to system when due and uh, the sales and other part of it so we are taking over this farm as our business too as well we are making sure that this farm is successful which at least that is what we aim for in uh, in every successful fish uh, farming so let me go to my topic and today i'll be talking about uh, what we call uh, fish uh, monetization nobody many people does not really know that they can monetize their farm yeah no many people does not know but there are a lot of areas you can monetize that is your farm so today i'll just be talking about let me say five to six topics depending on the time to advise you to give you this great uh, uh, lecture so that this can help you guys yeah so from today what we'll be talking about is that then they majorly many people uh, it depends on how you understand your own type of monetization but let me just give you a brief definition of my own monetization to me this is a process of um, turning a non revenue generated item into cash that means your proceed in the farm when you are producing in your farm your purpose of producing your farm is to produce to have a product so your product how great can you turn that your product into cash that is money so that is why we say you have monetized this and there are a lot of areas we can use in doing this i told you earlier in some of my videos is that i'm talking about machineries you can use your machineries in your farm as a monetization skill it as a monetization tools to make some cash on a daily basis for those of us who have what we call the mud pump machines in our farm mud pump machines are used in pumping water uh, from metting pond on a daily basis and there are a lot of people right now because i'm trying to vet in the present cost of that i understand is almost about hundred thousand plus now in short that means the three inches mud pump almost about 100,000 group going to about 440,000 at present if you want to if you want the original one and this is what we are buying at least i still have about four of it in my farm and i think i bought it last for like 25,000 i bought one for 18,000 i bought one for 30,000 but at present it showed the price is not encouraging so if you have this not every farmers can 
not every farmers can buy and can utilize and start using it so it's a great opportunity for you as a farmer to use this to lease it out to people in order to make cash if you have like five of it people rent it for like two thousand naira uh, per their harvest so you can rent it that means if you have five five you can still conveniently generate ten thousand naira a day and once you generate five thousand and ten thousand naira a day in a week that is seventy thousand naira by the end of the day by the time you use two weeks you might have bought another machine so this you can use as a monetization skill in your farm your net too can be a source of monetization there's what we call the drag net most especially when we are in the 18 pond area you can monetize money monetize this and started making money with it again now for those of us who have good bowl or those of us who have good uh, well that is well tested well that is going well for watchers have them around me you can if you are using well you can monetize it by telling people to put their submersible machine and be using it the neighbors around you maybe two or three houses around you can be using it for fish farming or can be using it as a means of uh, home usage too as well this you can monetize too as well these are great things that you can use and another one thing you can use is that you can start a wholesale product that means have an agent have an agent by maybe you are selling your seedlings for like uh, 10 naira you sell it out for agent for 9 naira and you are your own and 8 naira because by the time you do your calculation maybe your calculation have given you like maybe 6 naira in cost of raising them and you just put up maybe 3 naira 6, 7, 8 yeah, like 8 naira 2 naira on it and you give the agent to the to do the marketing for you with this you started having what we call constant uh, uh, constant uh, product to sell that means you order monetize uh, your farm to generate uh, great uh, money on a daily basis and again you need to design what we call an affiliation program in your uh, in your, with your business uh, many ways you can generate an affiliation program you can generate affiliation program by having courses consultation teach people how to how to start farm you can affiliate by you uh, having a subsidiary farm many people that ask from around you and thought you are a professional they can you can affiliate yourself by getting some percentage on their farm maybe you you help them stock you help them manage their farm with all these you can generate good revenue so there are a lot of ways you can monetize your farm and because of my time uh, i would I'd like to tell you to subscribe to this channel make sure that you follow up uh, this channel make sure that you like make sure that you share make sure that you invite great people to join us and we have a lot of a lot of materials we have a lot of test kit uh, on our disposal to sell for you we have for the ph we have for the alkaline we have for the tds we have for the we have the thermometer we have for the uh, nitrite we have for the nitrate we have the one for the uh, dissolve oxygen in your water so all these are a lot, lot of uh, uh, material we have and we have the mini uh, the mini aerator thank you and god bless you all